today I'll be doing my November monthly favourites and this time around I have hair products and skincare products more than makeup because this month for me was exam period and I didn't really get that much time to explore with makeup so I spent more time making myself feel revitalised in the shower and um, trying to make my skin and keeping my skin under control with all the exam stress. So let's get into it. The first one is a lifesaver, it's the La Roche Thermal Cuisine. Spring Water for Sensitive Skin. It is naturally antioxidant and soothes and softens your skin. So this is just a spray like this which I just um, spray over my makeup or when I'm feeling very tired or after a whole day and you feel really pretty oily and you just want a pick me up from all the studying or from the heat outside this has been a lifesaver so I've loved this very much so the next one that I got is the um, Juju Aqua Moist um, Foaming Facial Wash so it just comes in a pump like this and it's very it's very convenient to have in the shower because all I do is just pump out one pump and it's a very gentle foaming wash that doesn't strip my face I've tried a few different kinds of facial wash, even the Hada Labo facial wash, the Tonyu Isafa Bron, the one that was recommended on YouTube by a Japanese um, makeup guru, but they both stripped my skin really badly, so this is the only one that hasn't stripped my skin and I like it very much. So now moving on to facial, I keep in my Bella box all of my masks. These are the ones that I've been hunting high and low for in Sasa and in Watson's. So um, it's a two-step clarifying, brightening and moisturizing and hydrating kind of pack. It was recommended by Bubs Beauty and I'm so happy that I managed to find it. I tried one and it really worked wonders. The next day my skin tone just evened out and it just felt so much better. And it was great that there's the second step um, additional cream thing where I use it once and then I squeeze the remaining into an empty contact lens case so that I can use it again the next year or whenever I want to use it. So these are only $2 at Sasa and in Watson's. It's much cheaper than any of the face shop masks I've tried and it's better than the face shop masks I've tried. So I really enjoy using this and it's so hard to find that whenever I see them, I just grab them to stock up on them. This body shower from um, the body shop, the Ginger Sparkle Shower Gel. It smells really good. It smells really fresh in the shower and it is a blend of ginger root extract and community community fair trade honey. So it does smell a bit of ginger-ish and honey sweet kind of smell. So but it also smells to me a bit citrusy. Kind of. So I really enjoyed this. I bought two bottles of this because it was at a discount I think for the second bottle and I'm already halfway through and I think I might want to purchase more because I really like this one a lot. So now um, the last hair care product that I'd like to talk about is the Macadamia Deep Repairing um, Natural Oil Mask and this is my favourite hair care product of all time so far because my hair comes up shiny and soft and really very nice compared to when I use other things and it smells amazing. I love the smell of the macadamia nut oil. Now moving on to makeup, I only have three makeup items this month. The first one is a rediscovered kind of love thing. It's the um, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Mattifying Foundation and I bought this when I was in Paris so I didn't really like it at that time because I felt that it made my face look very very flaky and I guess that's also because my skin over there was extremely dry, it was still adjusting to the weather and I was just breaking out, I had dry patches everywhere so this made it really ugly but when I came back now, I guess in a more humid climate, this has given me a flawless face makeup kind of look. Um, and I don't wear this on a daily basis but when on days that I want more coverage and I want to look flawless and I know I'm going out for a long time I'll just apply this on and I'll block, block off the excess 
excess oils just so that I don't have to keep on blotting it really because it does do its job very well to mattify and I'm wearing it currently and I've really enjoyed putting this on recently another rediscovered love which is the Fairy Drops Mascara and when I bought it a few weeks ago or one of, uh, about one or two months ago it was very clumpy and it kept um, smudging on the top of my eyelid so I didn't enjoy it that much but with repeated usage the formula kind of dries up a bit more I think so it has made it so much easier to apply on and it is the only mascara that keeps my lashes up the entire day and it actually extends it and makes it a lot more fuller so I've been really loving this one and the last product is the the Stila Lip Gloss the one that comes with the twisting of face I got this from my friend Jane when she came back from the States. So thank you Jane. I this is my favorite lip gloss because it's so convenient to use and I just need to twist it and apply it because I'm pretty lazy with my lip products. So that's all I have for you today for my favorites. There's not that many makeup products this month because it's more bath and skincare to kind of regulate my exam stress. So Thank you so much for watching, do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe up above for more videos and I will talk to you soon, bye!